all right thank you for joining us today and in this video we are going to talk about set the journey of algebra and trigonometry you know some people will call it math 101 right let's jump right in so we are going to first talk about union of set union of set so throughout the journey of set we need some things that we need to you know remember so now let's let's start by assuming that um let a and b be subset right Oops. subset of the universal set good so if a and b are a subset of the universal set let me represent by big u then we can say that the union the union of let's say a and b is you know know how we are going to do it or let me say denoted by denoted by a union b so this is how we are going to use it right so if if we have a and b as a subset of the universal set u then if we want to find the union of a and b then this is how we are going to write it a union what b not this this is different from this this is the universal set this is the union this is the big u so i think they are almost the same so let me try and do this one this way yeah so this is how a union b is going to be now in this video we are going to use the idea of uh, when you see union we are going to say union is the same as or right so o r or we are going to use it to write some of them so let's define this one so i can define like a union b to be equal to you know x is such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b so we are using the or for the union so you see that we have a union b so the idea is that we are trying to assume that if x belongs to a union b then we can write this one as a belongs to x sorry x belongs to a or x belongs to b so that is the idea so we are trying to change the union to what or how do you do that this one is like uh, let me put this one in parentheses and this one is like we are picking this with this one so like x and it belongs to times this one which is given as this then the union changes to what or right whenever we are doing the expansion then this guy here will multiply the last term here which will give us what is here so that is how we are going with the union right so that is how we are going with the union so let's draw something like um, what is a union b so a union b is of the form let's assume that i have this right and i have this so this is my a this is my b this is my universal set right so a union b is like everything right everything right here so that is a union b right so that is the idea of a union b so let's take example like let's assume that I have a which is equal to let's say one two right and i have b which is equal to three four five right and my universal set which is equal to one two three four five so the universal set should contain all the elements in a and also b so what is um let me add six to this one so six right so what is a union b so a union b is like all the element in a and all the element in what b so this one was going to give us one two three four and five right so we can see that 
all the elements in A and then all the elements in what? B. But let's assume that um, we have A, which is equal to, let's say, um, 1, 2, let's say 3. And B2 is equal to 3, 4, 5. So we can see that one element here is repeating, right? Now, if you want to find A union B, A union B is going to be still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you have two elements or one element repeating itself in each of them, we are just going to write one of them, right? So still we can see that 2, 1, 2, 3 is here and then 3, 4, 5 is also here. So that is how we are going to use the universal set but the important thing that you need to learn from here is we are going to use the idea of union going with or we are assuming that union is going with what or so that whenever we want to prove something like whatever we have written here we can use the idea to do it now let's talk about intersection now same idea let me pick uh, my definition here same idea if assuming that if i'm going to assume that i have two elements a and b right let's assume that i have a and b which is a subset of the 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 universal set u right so we have something like this then we are going to say the intersection the intersection Let's talk about the intersection, the intersection of, of sets A and B is denoted by A intersection B. Right. So in this, now our intersection is going with end. So we are assuming that when you see intersection, we are going to use N so that we can define A union B to be equal to X such that X belongs to A. And so we are changing the intersection here to end, right? Anytime we are, we are doing the expansion, then X belongs to B. So the idea is that let's assume that X belongs to A intersection B. Then what we are trying to say is that we can expand this one by picking this as like if I have A times B plus, let's say, um, C. Then you see that if I want to multiply this, then this one will be A times B plus A times C, right? So what do you see? You can see that A times B, which is right here, right? Then this one will come here plus, then A times C. What is also right here so what we are trying to do here is here we are picking this to multiply the a then we pick this to multiply this like it's not mathematically well like how i'm saying it but for you to understand what i'm trying to do right so this is going to be x belongs to a then i said when we expand we change this one to end so remember with union is all but with intersection we are talking about end so this one is going to be and x belongs to what b so this is how we are going to use the intersection so this is the idea if i have um, a universal set which is u right and i have a i have b so a is here and b is here then a intercept b is actually the one in the middle right so example will be like um, if I have A, which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And B is equal to 1, 2, 5, 6. Then what is A intersection B? A intersection B is actually the values that we can see from here or the element that we can see from A and at the same time in B. So we can see that we have 1 in A, which is also the same in B. We have 2 there. Right, but we have three in A, we don't have it in B, so it cannot be there. We have four, we don't have it here. We have five in B, we have six in B, but they are not in A. So A intersection B is actually one and what two. 
right? One and two. That is the idea. So now let's assume that I have A, which is one, two. I have B, which is, let's say, three, four. Then what is A intersection B? A intersection B is actually empty. Why? Because we don't have any number which is here and here. And this is what we call disjoint set. We call this disjoint set. So anytime you don't have any element which belongs to A and at the same time belongs to B and you want to find A intersection B, then A intersection B is just equal to empty and we are going to call it disjoint set. And this is how it's going to look like. So if I have my this one here, then if I have this one here, then A will be here, B will be here. So this will be A and this is will be. So this is going to be what? A disjoint set because we don't have anything in common. They don't have anything in common, A and B. All right. So see you in the next video.